Skinny Time, and with the latest James Bond film, as you know, about to open up in about a month, many have been wondering if Daniel Craig will continue as 007. And now we have an answer from Craig himself. Time Out London asked the actor if he would return for the 25th installment of the franchise. His answer, quote, I'd rather break this glass and slash my wrists. So you're saying maybe. It's a maybe, yeah, I think so. In the interview, Craig doesn't completely rule it out, though. He just doesn't want to think about it now, adding, quote, if I did another Bond movie, it would only be for the money. Uh, a little bit of honesty there. That all is, right. That's true. That's, all, that's what we all did. By the way, the discussion touched upon the controversy over who would succeed him as the next Bond. When asked for his opinion, Craig said, quoting here, look, I don't give an expletive. Good luck to them. I like it. I love the brutal Please honesty. Back. Fantastic. Uh, Jack as Dutman Steve O is heading to the clink. He was sentenced yesterday to 30 days in jail for a stunt this past summer where he climbed up a crane in Hollywood and set off fireworks to protest SeaWorld. Steve O has a past history of drug abuse, but after undergoing rehab, he's remained clean and sober in recent years. Of course, some of his well known antics include getting his nose broken by Mike Tyson and getting a giant tattoo of his own face on his back. He says that part of doing the SeaWorld stunt was to show people he hasn't lost his edge. Okay, still has something to prove there. Steve-O also said, quote, if your goal is to make a statement about captivity, you may as well get yourself locked up. He will serve his sentence in the L.A. County Jail and once released, will have to remain 100 yards away from the Hollywood Entertainment District. But I have a feeling this is not the last we will hear from them. Those, those jackass guys are always up to something. Yeah, he'll get another tattoo somewhere <laughs> that we will tell you about. Donald Trump has found himself another adversary from the entertainment world, Julio Iglesias. Julio. The Spanish singer announced that he will no longer perform at any casinos owned by the Republican presidential candidate of Trump. Iglesias said, quote, he thinks he can fix the world for getting what immigrants have done for his country. He is a clown and my apologies to clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Iglesias was born in Spain, but the title of his most recent album is Mexico. The target of many of Trump's campaign talking points, of course, since he jumped into the race. And the Donald did indeed respond, saying, He Quote, did? Shocking. He shocking. had something to say about this? Good. I don't like his voice or his performances anymore. Anyway. <laughs> Typical. All right. Finally, some big news surrounding okay. Disney's newest princess. But first, a reminder. Disney is the parent company of ABC News. I, I, is that you, Brian? I have no idea. <laughs> Really? Is that who signs the checks? <laughs> okay, now that we got that out of the way, um, let's check out Moana. Here she is, uh, the daring young woman who sails out of a mission to fulfill her ancestors' unfinished quest. And the young woman voicing Moana, Ali'i Cravalo, the 14-year-old native Hawaiian, landed the role, this is pretty cool, after first being spotted by a casting agent at a charity singing competition in Oahu. Cravalo was also the last girl seen by the casting director, and the movie is expected to hit theaters in November of next year. And this is a Disney movie, and who owns this again? Uh, Disney is the parent company of ABC News. I kind of like that. I do, too. So cool.